gon' pull up with them sticks and hop out with them choppers Walking out the tent in blue Balenciagas I call her out, now I got blood on blue Balenciagas what it do bear squad my name is bear witness and today we're gonna be talking about 2k19 we've got even more news the boy mike wang is always filling us with as much information as possible so we got a couple of topics that i wanted to talk about the most important topic being the last in the video so i hope you guys stay to the end of that but first off we're gonna start off with this a twitter user goes on to ask are the controls still catered to the x button players or will right stick players be able to perform all shots available Hop step when driving to the rim, drop step in the paint. Will right stick players get same shooting animations as X button players? Mike Wayne goes on to ask, or goes on to say, right stick shooting should give you the same, if not more, control over your selection. Euros and cradles are on your right stick, left to right. Hop step layups are down right left. And driving step back J's are on LS plus right stick down. Now, this is the cool thing. I've been a very big right stick user for a long time, especially since I tend to make inside dominant builds. Now, it doesn't matter to me what I'm playing in 2K necessarily, but I prefer a build that can dunk on somebody more than one that could shoot. Now, I, I don't want to get into a debate on which one's better, but I just don't have fun standing there and, you know, holding X. Like, I just don't. But I guess, you know, it's the same thing. Well, you're just driving. But I, I don't know, because I can't shoot with the right stick. I can, I can, you know, change my layups and stuff around with that. But I, I can't, I can't shoot with the right stick. I don't know. I, it's not something that I've, I've been privy to. But there is something about, um, like uh, in 2K17, I think it was that allowed you to have like a better shot timing or something like that. I'm not very positive on it. But like I said, I just prefer inside dominant builds. So when I hear things like this, it makes me very excited for 2K19 because. All I've seen over the past couple of weeks is the fact that I've been able to consistently do better in the paint. So, pretty excited about this. He goes on to say in a different tweet, Before I forget, you can also do retreat size layups. Or retreat size ups. My bad. Move LS away from the hoop and tap R right stick up. They're a bit quicker than just pulling the LS back in standard. In standard dribble movement backpedaling has been slowed down quite a bit to fix walk back cheese now back in the day uh, I refer to 2k17 again because me and my friend were playing it the other day and he mentioned the uh, the big man cheese now when you could go into your you know your back down state or stance you know holding LT there was an option for you to do this and then you can like go backwards and then you'd get a sprint boost forward now I'm not sure if this is necessarily what they're referring to or if the fact of it's just, um, you know, just a standard, you know, just walk back. Because I'm not very familiar on the walk back cheese. I never really saw that there was one. But I know they got rid of, rid of the right to left cheese or the zigzag cheese as well as this. So that's really cool. The fact that they're taking sti sti strides and making the game more balanced for everybody and not so cheese heavy. Now the last thing that we're going to talk about, guys, is the fact that a Twitter user ask the big question is a pure playmaker the only player that you can drop someone on their backs or are you good as long as your primary is playmaker or can you still drop them let's say if you are a shot creator playmaker in takeover now this is the important part Mike Wayne goes on to say as long as a playmaker is your primary it doesn't matter what your secondary is but when you reach 94, you can also snap ankles as a secondary playmaker. So this opens up avenues of totally different archetypes. Now, it's, this is where, you know, we're going to have to see where the prelude holds, what you can and can't do, because at the end of the day, we have just gotten information that is kind of, everybody was going to set up their stuff differently because this is the first time we've actually talked about it, but everybody was going to set up their stuff differently based on the fact of what they wanted to do primarily and now we know that as of hitting I, I i would assume that 94 and up threshold no matter what your secondary build is you start getting those benefits like hardcore so i'm pretty excited about that in itself because that means if i make that like that i i in my previous video i think it was uh 
uh, to about two videos ago. I'm not sure which one I'm referencing, but when, when we first started talking about this, I said that I didn't see very much use in making a sharpshooting playmaker or um, a slashing playmaker. Well, now we're in a situation in which it's completely fine to make for me to make that because I now know that if I do make that round 94 I will get those bonuses I will get that ability to you know uh, break ankles because I you know when you don't have that ability because what the way they made it seem primary uh, previously was that if you don't have those abilities or if you don't set that up as your primary it's not beneficial to you and you, you know it's basically irrelevant because off rip it kind of seemed that way it seemed like if you didn't have a primary playmaker there was no point in having a secondary and it, it, you know if you were going to make a secondary slasher there was no point in it now we see that is not the case guys so if this has affected your build in any way of what you guys are thinking of make sure you guys leave a comment down below telling me all about it because i'm really curious to see what people are making this year i think this is going to be one of the most unique and diverse 2ks yet especially in the park that being said if you guys like the video, make sure you guys leave a like down below. And if you guys haven't joined the Bear Squad yet, make sure you guys hit that sub button because we will be making videos all of 2K19. And I hope you guys are along for the ride. Until then, I'm out of here. Peace. We gon' pull up with them sticks and hop out with them chops. Walking out the tin and blue Balenciaga.